you to be free to make your decision. As it was, I handled it very badly. When I saw you, I talked to you. All my plans to do this gracefully were somehow lost. I lied to you about my life being hard in Hong Kong. I've been very comfortable coming here, doing this to you. I had no rights. Before you came here, you had made a decision, hadn't you? And it was to say no. Craig? What you must understand is that it's all right. You have your own life to lead. As for Kwan, you'll be well taken care of. Before I came here, I arranged with friends in Hong Kong to have Kwan live with them. If things didn't work out here, he'll be fine with them. After seeing your face that day, I was so sad. Perhaps you're not the same man anymore. And you're not. No. The man I loved in Saigon was a free man. He was a happy, loving man. He had such wonderful plans for his future. Sometimes I didn't mean every day. Listening to you, laughing with you would be like sitting by a warm fire. The man I loved inside God was trapped and afraid. That's the man I wanted Kwan to be with, to know. To get from him what he'd given me. Tell my 